Hello, and welcome to another installment of Luna's Art Archive Project. Today, I have decided to finally, finally show my guild hall. So the guild hall has been a work in progress for many, many years. Um, it, our guild is not very popular now we only have a few members but back in the day it used to be very popular and a bunch of the guildies got together and decorated a bunch of it well uh it wasn't quite finished being decorated by everybody and everybody kind of left so i didn't really care to finish it like it took a long time for me to finally get the motivation uh but yeah so recently i did stream i finally finished everything uh in the guild hall but i left everything that everyone else did too so i figured i would go around today and show my entire guild hall um and explain what i did and you know for my art archive and then what everybody else did so i have this book i have this book that i made um that has a map in it and the map shows uh who did what what area okay so the the house portal room i did that's up in number one barracks and rest area was done by death note uh trophy hall was pura and jackson the crafting cave is uh i did the crafting cave we'll show you that in a second the portal room like the teleport room is was done by pura there was a second person who helped with that i think it was jackson but when I asked him, he's like, no, 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 take my name off. Pure did it all by herself. But I know that he helped with it. Uh, so the torture chamber uh, made by Death Note. Uh, the bathrooms were made by me. And then the front courtyard area was also done by me. There's three sections up here. And then there's an indoor swamp that kind of leads to the crafting cave that was made by Death Note. So that's all on the first floor. And then the second floor, uh, we have the bar and grill made by Death Note and Cordis. And the banker broker hall was made by Death Note. Death Note is our the guild creator. Uh, so he did a lot of this. And then lastly, the training hall down in the basement is made by Jackson. Okay, so that is everybody. Hopefully I can remember all that. So that is we're going through. All right, so we'll start with my area. So when I took over doing the front area here, I had, you know what I said in my stream yesterday that I hadn't built any buildings. I lied. This is a building right here. <laughs> I guess this is kind of a building. I don't know. All right. So over here, there's a bush that says just some bushes. They may be scary or they may not be. Personally, I wouldn't chance it. So we used to have a member who every time he logged in would grab, like, pretend, role playing, grab a, a uh, member of the guild and drag them into the bushes. And so this was his bushes at first. And he would drag him into. And then once he left the guild, then I changed it. Because, you know, it was just part of our guild now to have these bushes out here. And then um, the teleport room was created. But everyone was like, man, we need something out in the front. And so Fayomar actually talked me into buying the pirate guy. And I'm like, well, we have if we have the pirate guy, he's got to have a boat. So we... Uh, I quick made this up. And then he wanted me to leave this shell out here. Um to try to trick people to click on it because it takes you to the eastern waste, I want to say. But it says, ahoy, matey, click me and I'll take you where you want to go. Or right click my shell to listen to the ocean. If you listen to the ocean, you're going to go there. So it's just a little trick for people. Um, so yeah, so this is a little house that I built just to kind of house all of our little um, adventure writ, guild chronomage, stable hand... Uh, it's nothing special, this building. I built it right after the cutouts first came out. Because I was like, ooh, I want to play with the cutouts. Now I don't use the cutouts at all. So, like, hardly at all. Um, but it was fun making some of the, these little paintings that one of the guildies put in there. So, yeah, we got our mender out here. I got a, 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 you know, trying to make it look nice. Oopsie, I don't want to mend yet. Um, the ceiling, I put these red and blue tiles up here just to add some color because you know me have to have color and so yeah and so back out 
let's go this way first because this is what I completed first. Um, so I had had all this done. I had finished this. This was before everybody left the guild. And I had also finished this over here. So this is a graveyard. Um, Cemetery of Decadence's leaders. So we had four leaders. So Death Note created the guild and then he got three of us, three more people to be leaders with him. And then so I created this... Uh, little graveyard just for fun for all the the leaders and so we have here lies luna here lies luna's will to adventure uh because i hate adventuring <laughs> so there we go there's my grave and then i have uh here lies mel's ability to only have one tune uh mel is cordus and he is also the uh one of my besties and <laughs> I created, he's what, he's the guildie that I created a house for on one of his alts, his Rotonga alt, and he accidentally deleted the Rotonga, not remembering that I had built him a house on there. So it's my one, one project that I'll never have a video of because it got deleted. So here lies uh, Fay Omar, just Fayo because he's a ranger. So <laughs> uh, he would always joke that they would sacrifice the ranger every time we'd go out into raids. And then lastly, we have Here Lies Dan's, that's Death Note, Dan's trade skill ability, because he hated crafting even more than I did and would never level up a trade skill. Uh, so yeah, so, and then I just built it all spooky with the fog and, um, yeah, it ended up working out pretty nice and just burying it with all this stuff. Okay, so that's the graveyard. I There's nothing really in the rest of the yard. Uh, we'll go look at that statue in a second. But if we walk over here, then what I streamed recently, which I had left undone for the longest time, was this garden. Oh, hello. Uh, I need you to move. Get out of the garden. You're not supposed to be in there. She just walks around. <laughs> she just wanders. But yeah, so this is what I streamed. I just made this cute little easy peasy garden quick. Um, it had meant to be a... I had, I had it written down for a garden for a long time, but I had lost motivation when everybody left, so I just didn't do it. But now it's finally done, and I thought it turned out pretty good. Okay, so then if we go... We're following paths because that's what you're supposed to do. This is the teleporter where you can take, you know, go everywhere. But we're going to walk this way. And, um, yeah, so this part, I don't know who did these statues. Uh, they never told me who it was. I just came in one day and they were in here and I left them because they look nice. Same with these trees right here. I don't know who put them there, but thank you for that because they look nice. So, yep, but that's basically the whole front courtyard area. Again, don't know who did these. I know Death Note did this front hallway area. Um, just with that picture up on the wall. And the that banner. Okay. Oh, and then this picture too. Yep, that was all that was all Death Note. And then same with these. I think Death Note did them. Because I'm not sure who else would have done them, and it wasn't me, and I don't know who did it. <laughs> so, but they're really cute. So let's go over to the torture room first. No, let's, you know what, let's do the trophy hall first. So these are all the guild trophies that we have. Um, again, uh, what did I say? I think it was Pura and Jackson, it said, did this. Uh, so they not only decorated it, but they went out and got a lot of these heads, too. To just kind of bolster up our trophy area so and then they built this cute this cool little thing back here yep so i thought they did a pretty good job so i have this all walled off because that's where the crafting cave is um but we'll go back there in just a minute so yeah pretty fun huh let's stick it out back there <laughs> okay all right so over this direction we have death notes uh torture chamber that he built um i really like this flooring i don't know why i don't use this uh material more often okay but yeah he's got water torture over here <laughs> oh that would suck and um just he didn't really oh look there's a cage up here what is on top of the cage is what i'd like to know oh lord there's just things happening in this guild hall that i don't know about but yeah so so our guild has a nice little torture chamber. 
<laughs> yep, Death Note really, really wanted that. So then another f thing that Death Note really liked to build was um, like fish tanks and grottos. And so he built a, uh, a grotto over here for us. And then I just ended up using it as the pathway to the crafting cave, which then I took the idea of this whole... Br uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Not brick, rock, like inside a cave look uh, for the crafting cave, which I stream. So if you saw that, you would know what I'm talking about. I like that with the money inside the shell. But yeah, so this is all Death Note. Oh, look, he's got all the piranhas and the cute little fish. I need to get one of these fish for <laughs> my husband's house. <laughs> Okay, and then of course, of course, we have to have the hot babes, too. These are all Death Note's hot babes over here. Had to have those. Okay, so this all, so I built the crafting cave, and then, um, but it needed, I felt that it needed, like, a little bit of an update. Um, and so that's what we did on the stream. So I added this whole Frostfell section. Let's turn on the Frostfell trees rainbow twinkle <laughs> and rainbow twinkle okay so uh before the frost fell stuff was just thrown out here and i had put some rocks up on the wall and then the floor was granite not granite tile it was like adamantine or something like that <laughs> like it didn't match at all so we added this whole made the section a lot bigger and put these uh geodes in the wall with presents put the made the floor look all snowy had snow coming out of the ceiling just made this really frost belly and uh had just had a lot of fun with it actually this was i had a lot of fun doing my guild uh, revamping this uh this frost fell room and then before i did the frost fell room i revamped just the floor in here so the floor in here was like i said the adamantine and um it just didn't match i left i left the walls as they were in those signs but i did put this the red rock up into the ceiling um to look really nice and i did change a couple of the mannequins so each section has a sign so this is woodworking because it looks like you build a building over here and then it has like a little purse a little mannequin dressed like um you know my interpretation so like she's out chopping down trees and wood and stuff to be able to carve and make into and then of course since this is like my home somebody had put a fey picture over here and so i left that and then i have lava in the walls i wanted like i had did like a fire and ice theme uh for this place and so here's the frostville sign so over here we have the uh forges okay so there's actually four forges over here. This one's flipped upside down, but you can still use it over here. And then Dan actually decorated this, uh, or Death Note, I decorated this mannequin and this mannequin. So I left them both out here, but they were, you know, they look like they just built all their crap on the forges over here. Okay, so next section, we're just going back and forth. So obviously sewing <laughs> and the mannequins in here are actually our guild's um, uniforms. So some of the some of the girls have this because Death Note wanted that, and then the rest of them have our main guild uniform with our guild cloak, and then an outfit that I picked out that I thought matched pretty well with the uh, with the guild cloak. Would you stop? So yeah, so that's the sewing section. We come over here to. The tinkery section. Would you stop clicking on stuff? This is driving me nuts. All right. And I have my little tinkery frog that I built. Uh, he's old. I didn't change him. And then I made this geode that likes to keep glitching out. But I love this geode that ended up happening inside. The, this These geodes is what inspired the present geodes in the other room. Okay. So tinker section. I'm just going to keep going back and forth. Uh scribing <laughs> so there's a scribing sign she went through a revamp i like her a little better now uh she's not perfect yet i really wish the skirt matched the shirt better but 
she's pretty cute. So we'll keep her. And then we have, uh, whoops. You, come on. Chemistry. There we go. So we have a chemistry set up there and the sign. And then this uh, is something that Death Note created. So I will. I don't have that hood <laughs> and I want that hood. So I leave it up because I don't want to lose any of any piece of that. And as you can see, the floor has other things inside of it. So over here, we have another geode and we have all of our stuff. So we have the fuel merchant and like the all our harvesters and all this. And here's a buffing station where you can get some buffs for crafting and just everything's here. See, everybody's wearing the, the guild uniform. And yeah, and last but not least, we have the kitchen section with my frog lock who has had a recent update because I needed this hat. He wasn't wearing, he wasn't wearing a very good outfit before that looked like he was cooking. So yay. So that's it. So that's the crafting cave. Um, so let's actually just travel back through. I'm trying not to use the teleporter because I want to show everything. Um, okay, let's go this way around now. So this bathroom is one of the very first bathrooms that I built. Um, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I'll show you. So first of all, this is ooh, snow club. This is one of Faye Omar's houses. <laughs> he uh, put it in the bathroom because he's being an ass. That's why. Anyways, so uh, again, this is kind of before my, well, before, this is, like I said, one of the, I did this such a long time ago. This is actually Nope, nope, this is my first one because we didn't have enough room in the old guild hall to build a bathroom. And so <laughs> when we moved here, I was like, oh, I'm building bathrooms. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this was, this is old. This is probably one of my very first projects. And you can tell because there's like shimmer on the floor. Nothing really matches. Um, I did have an, obs I've always had kind of an obsession with baseboard. But back in the day, I used to just use these dividers that had built in baseboard. Um, and so, yeah, see, not even all the walls are skinned all the way. There's weird, <laughs> the yellow chairs that Bass laughs about. So this is the girls' bathroom. Um, just easy, through stuff together kind of deal. Uh, there's a sign in here that says, for a good time, called Death Tempo. That's one of his alts. <laughs> um, but these toilets turned out pretty cute. This is, uh, back you know, before I started really trying, but yeah, it turned out all right. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so each one is just like that, has doors. I remember building these, uh, these were, was a pain. <laughs> it took forever because I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so women's and then I don't know what that A thing is inside there. Or how, yeah, I don't know what that is, but whatever. Okay, so the men's, I turned in, um, yeah, so it's about the same, but, but then it has, it also has a stall and then urinals. And so one of these is mine, uh, from my purse, from Luna's collection. And the other one is from either I got it from a guildie, like I've begged and begged and begged, guildies, please somebody do this quest, or it's one of my alts. But again, you can see the, the shimmer. It's just nuts. I didn't, <laughs> but at least there's trash in the trash can, right? You know, <laughs> but yeah, so that's the bathroom and I won't, I won't update this because it, like I said, it shows my, um, you know, my work in the beginning, I did update the craft room because that's something that everybody uses and I wanted it to look nice. You know, that is the crafting room is one thing that people still continue to go to. All right. So the next room is the teleport room. And uh, this is the one that was made by Pura. And so it's, it's very nice. I love the blues and the yellow look that they, that she did. And then how everything's just kind of laid out very nicely. It all has its own little areas are on pedestals. You know, we have these claws here. She did a very good job at, at making sure we had a nice uh, teleport room. And I love this with the compass. That just fits so well. And so, yeah, so I, I leave the teleport room again. A, because um, 
she made it and b because you know when i changed the crafty room a bunch of people freaked out so <laughs> i don't want to ch change is scary apparently <laughs> i don't want to change anything else okay so over here is the barracks that death note made so we have a statue made a nice little garden area for us to rest in anybody have kids <laughs> And then, so yeah, so then the barracks and just a little library, little fireplace area. Very, very nice. And then just more places to sleep. Which I did add the moving crate in here because it was not working inside the crafting cave where it was supposed to go. But yeah, so there we go. So those are those two rooms. And then if we come over here is a room that I did. Now this is an older room, but not that old but I decided to have a place for all our house portals and for some reason I wanted fountains just everywhere <laughs> like this is just a fountain the glade I got all these griffin fountains pouring water into the different house portals and then the mirrors and the trees and yeah I do I like this room I like the colors and everyone had fun putting their house portals up on everywhere most of these houses aren't even anything anymore i don't think because most people don't play the game but oh well it's gonna stay up forever now all right let's head down to the basement where was it jackson i think it's jackson jackson did like our war room uh so he's got a statue here i don't think i think these are part of it yeah those, that's part of it so we got some swords you can go down in the water but i don't think you put anything down there um and then so yeah so it's like a training center so he's got uh you can get your the solo training dummy and then he's got these cool weapon things around yeah now there's some more training dummies flags that just looked cool and yeah so i thought it turned out really nice in here just a place to come train but we're not really a guild that does that anymore so it's kind of redundant but <laughs> You know, just in case, just in case somebody comes along and wants to turn this guild back into like a raiding guild, that's fine with me. I'm just not the person to do that. <laughs> Am I going the right way? I think so. Okay, so that's it for the downstairs. So now let's head upstairs. Do, 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 do. Uppy, uppy, up. So if you've never been in, so this is a tier three guild hall. Uh, the tier four guild halls are way too ginormous, but there's like rooms and stuff like out here that no one's decorated and I don't have any plans to decorate just because it's pointless. I feel like, uh, you know, you decorate your main parts and then that's about it. I think that light, yeah, that light's part of the guild hall. Isn't that cool? It's a, I want that light. <laughs> Anyways. So, first of all, this is the Banker Broker Hall. So, this was de decorated by Death Note. Um, and so, here we got some of our employees that are wearing that one uh, outfit of his. I, I did do one part. He asked me to do the depots. And so, I did the depots um, over here. Just laid them out and then put some signs. Oops, which this sign actually... How Miss Moore showcase the vulgar? Uh, nope. Pick that sign up. That's my sign, anyways. But <laughs> that's not supposed to be there. So then he's got the bank that he built. Lot, lots of treasure and stuff back here. Vaults. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's a really nice little bank over here. Uh, then we got the mailbox and over here is where we can sell stuff so we have our broker and i don't see some some people put teleporters up in here um i move i tend to try to move them back downstairs when i see them but they get moved back up here so i just leave them people like to have teleporters just everywhere through the throughout the guild i guess so yeah so this is um oh what's her name is she talking today Katie Ferry says, please feel free to leave a tip in my jar. That was, uh, that was Death Note's idea, Katie Ferry. And then 
um, collector, groundskeeper, have all our collection depot there. And then he had, Death Note had put all these down um, and then was going to come back and do something with them so they're not just laying all around, but he never got, he never came back. So I just left him. Uh, this is his room. He didn't ask me to do it, so I'm leaving it. <laughs> okay, so that's our, what is this doing over here? See, there's just random stuff all the time just laying everywhere. I'm like, I don't even think there's anybody left in the guild who has trusty access to do anything, and yet things still keep appearing. I don't understand. Okay, so we come over here to the last and final room. Oh, no! This is from the downstairs. I didn't even think about this. Well, this is Death Note's part here that he has sticking up. You know what? I might just block this whole hallway off. Yeah, yeah well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is our bar and grill. And so this was made by Death Note. Um, and so he's got our house actors over here. They say silly things. Oh, Death Grunt says, I want a Dwarven Spirits and you give me a Shirley Temple. If you weren't already stupid, I'd smack the brains out of you. And Jenna Hayes says, I, I'll have a panty dropper and a cork for this guy's mouth, stat. So, yeah, that's a, uh, we have a bartender. That's, um, <laughs> that's Death Note's humor right there. Okay, so lots of alcohol, paintings, looks really nice over here. So, and of course it's in my favorite wood, so I can't hate this room at all. Um, just a nice little bar area. And then this was another one of, uh, Death Note specialties was making grills, especially hibachi grills. He really liked to build, uh, all that kind of stuff. So, which I'm still having the glitch. Oh, you know what? This is on a different computer. That's why I was going to say I had, I turned off, I fixed my settings here. Let's, um, just in case anybody ever wants to know, do you see that f around the, uh, thing there? So we go to options, uh, you go to shadows, uh, advanced, and turn off shadow maps, but make sure the ambulant occlusion is checked, except, and then it's gone. Uh, so yeah, all right, and then so this section here, um, again, like I said, I don't ever like to encroach on other people's art, but after after the first wave of guildies left, there was some guildies who were left who were like, hey, we have all these tables. Can you please do something with them, Luna? And so I was the only leader around. And so, yeah, I was like, well, I guess so. So I just quickly threw these all in here that they all had um, just to kind of make it look nice. And so, yeah, but, the, you know, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, so yeah, that is our entire guild hall. We're going to hop down here and we're going to go to this front area here just because there we go. So that is, uh, Decadence's guild hall. Um, it's, you know, probably not the most intricate De decorated guild hall that you've ever seen but it was fun because it was a group effort effort and um and i really enjoyed working with them when they were around so it'd be nice if everybody came back <laughs> but i doubt that's gonna happen but either way decadence will still be around i'll make sure of it in case anybody ever returns so uh thank you for joining me on another art archive adventure and i hope to see you next time <laughs>